all right um so this is actually my last video uh, i wanted to give you guys a first-hand look at my setup here um a lot of you probably aren't going to know exactly what you're looking at until you actually get the time to mess around with um x pattern but th this will be more of a visual representation for the various things that i, I have set up um if you remember in some of my earlier videos, um, one of my earlier videos I should say, I mentioned that I have different sets to different tabs. Um, the tabs I'm talking about are these ones right down here. Um, they're all different setups. You can watch as the uh, all the key assignments, all the bindings change. And they all, they all do certain things. Um, my Whenever I hold my left trigger, it opens up my first tab, which I actually need to rename. It's no longer 1 through 8. Um, instead, instead of the basic movement controls and menu navigation and all that good yada yada, um, it opens up a little modifier <clears throat> where I have my, my D-pad set up for my skills, my X, Y, A, B set up for my skills, and I still have movement enabled so that way I can move and groove kind of a deal. And my, my bumpers are also set. Those are really the only things I wanted set up for this. Um, you'll notice this button here, it will be the same for all three. And that's the escape button that I was telling you about. Um, whenever I click start while locked in one of these, here, let me show you how it gets stuck. There we go. So right now I'm not holding any buttons down and it's it's totally stuck. You can see the buttons as they're as they're lit, you know. Those show the ones I'm actually pressing right now. And presently I don't have the left trigger depressed. So when I need to get out of this I just give that a quick quick press and then all, all is fixed um, so right trigger is 1 through 8 left trigger is um, actually hold on a minute right trigger is 1 through 0 on the uh, the number bar up on top because I don't, I don't really know what that's called down here with the left trigger is uh, Minus equals and then control one through eight, it appears. And then my UI navigation. This is this is my mouse setup basically. Um, right trigger is scroll in, left trigger is scroll out. Um, I actually don't remember what Alt Z does. I have to check into that, see what that is. Um, I'm gonna finagle with. Uh, <clears throat> with these a bit more because I don't quite like the setup how it is but that's for another day it's not really essential and as you can see I still have plenty of other options here I can still make more if I really wanted to uh, but so far only having these these four bars has been uh, more than enough actually so that's that's pretty much it um, I will post links to tutorials that I followed for making these, all these bindings, because they, they can get a little complicated. All of this shit. What does this even mean? You don't even know. I don't even know. I barely know. I only know from other videos that I watched, but I will post those in my, my description as soon as I relocate them. Um, one in particular was very helpful. I apologize to the user who made it. I can't remember his, his name. Um, it was a Guild Wars 2 video, but that will be in my description because he, he helped me with all of the movement. Um, though he doesn't know it. <laughs> um, yeah, I will also find a way to upload this. Um, so that way anyone who wants it can just can just download it from themselves and give it a whirl see if they can up update on it or improve upon it or what have you um pretty much it all right thanks for watching i hope this was helpful